Hi and welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious gingerbread house and gingerbread cookies. So today is all about getting ready for Christmas. We're going to bring this episode to you especially for you to enjoy with your kids or your grandkids or all of the family. So if you don't know how to make gingerbread cookies or a gingerbread house, I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to start with here now is three quarters of a cup of room temperature or partly melted butter. What we're going to do is cream in the three quarters cup of butter and one cup of brown sugar. So we're going to mix that together. And also what's so wonderful about this recipe, we don't have eggs in the batter and we don't have eggs in the icing sugar. So if your kids and grandkids is helping you today, they can eat this as much as they want. Two teaspoonfuls of ginger. If you like it a little hotter, put in more. I like it hotter, but this is, this is a nice flavor if your kids is going to be eating it. One teaspoonful of cloves and one teaspoonful of cinnamon. Mix that on in. A teaspoonful of baking soda into a half a cup of molasses. And you can get the cooking molasses, you can get the table molasses, it doesn't matter whatever you got on end because you don't want to have to go out and buy anything just use what you got so stir that in and then dump it on into your mixture just like this so then you're going to mix this on in and what an amazing smell here today my grandkids or our grandkids i should say and our kids love this stuff and they make a gingerbread house every year and sometimes they do competitions to see who makes the best gingerbread house so if you're into that sort of thing that's always good too i think i made the best one though yes you know you yeah. did we're going to be putting in two and a half cups of flour you can use flour of choice and we're going to sift that on into our bowl okay so i'm just going to sift it on in here this is just to make it more like a cake sort of batter and just to get everything in there so that's all you need to do with that so now you're going to mix all of this in here now if like you said if you're making this today with your kids or family members you know what you can't get enough help when you're baking in the kitchen anyway so they will love it now as you can see right now you'll say now how is that all going to come together we're going to be using our hand now to continue mixing this. I get a tablespoonful of water to the side if we need to use it. But chances are we may not because this is actually soft dough. When you mix it, you'll see. And we're going to turn this into a ball. So just work it all together. So at this point, I didn't need to use the water but I always keep it to the side just in case you do need to use it so when you form it into a ball I'm going to show you what's next I hope you're following along and you're excited to make your own gingerbread house and it comes with a whole bunch of cookies all out of this one batch so what I'm doing here now I'm getting a piece of clear wrap the reasons being when I make gingerbread houses and gingerbread cookies, when I put it together like this, I like to let it rest in the fridge overnight or just for a few hours, just to call. When this dough calls, it's better for uh, rolling it out and it's better for working with. And right now, this is soft because we're after working it together. Remember, I didn't add any water to this, only those ingredients. But if you do need to add a little tiny bit, that's okay. You can still work it through. So I'm going to put this one in the fridge and grab for the other one. Okay, this is perfect. So this is the one I kept in the fridge overnight and it's nice and dense and that's perfect for working with. I'm going to get my rolling board. I'm going to get a knife because when I roll it out, we got to cut out those pieces. I'm going to tell you the size of each one and 
and get started on that. So what you need now is a knife to cut your dough, a knife to carve out the sizes that you need, and a measuring tape, and a little bit of flour for when you're rolling out the dough. So now I'm going to show you what all that looks like. So pretty much all I'm going to do is cut the dough. You just see, just just look at it. Isn't that just delicious? I can just eat that just like that. Can and I, I ask a good question? Yep, yeah, you sure How can. How long did you leave your dough in the fridge before getting ready to cut it? I left it in for overnight, but you can leave it in for about an hour, and that's fine. Okay. If you want to do it that way. All right then, Raymond, that's a, a fine sort of a question. And now what we're going to do is roll out our dough. I'm going to cut just another little bit of this one off because I want to work with just a smaller piece right now. So pretty much all you're doing is rolling it out to about an eighth of an inch. Um, and as my husband would say, as Raymond would say, um, you mm -hmm. could roll it as thick as you want. But for that much, then you know you got enough dough I'm calling it dough, but it's kind of like a batter. It's not necessarily like a bread dough. And it would give you lots of cookies and it give you this nice gingerbread house. So this is how much you need to roll it out. And now we're gonna get measuring. So this is what comes the fun part, but now I'm going to ask the parents to do this and not the kids, of course. They could watch. Pretty much what we're going to do first is cut off the rugged edges of our dough. And we're going to need four rectangle pieces of dough, three by five. So, and this is gonna be for the house, okay? So this is three, and this, this is my old measuring tape. I usually got a pink one, but I broke that one, so. And this is five. So right now, that's one piece and I'm going to cut it all the ways over so we're going to do we're going to do four like that and we're going to put it over here on our good old cookie sheet okay, so that's my five and again three so if, if it's a little off don't worry about it so this is going to cover two sides and the roof so this is three pieces, so I got to cut one more piece. I just got to roll my dough again, and then I'll tell you the measurements for the other two. Okay, so this comes the fun part now. You're, you're making your two sides with a peak. So... More or less the front and the back. The front and the back is what we're making here now. I'm not a really good builder, but I got to say, this... this uh, gingerbread house is pretty cool. So we're going to be doing a five by five cut. So right now I want to take off that rugged edge and this here. So again five by five and then I'm going to show you the fancy part. And you're going to be making two five by five? I got to make two five by fives, yeah. So that's pretty much all I'm doing here now is just cutting that out. I just love learning how to make a gingerbread house. <laughs> <laughs> you know you do, right? Yeah. So pretty much this is what that looks like, the five by five. Now let me show you the fancy move we're going to make here now. So this is where the fun part comes in. Because we got to make a peak, this with our regular cuts is three by five, five being this way, three being that way. So now, right here, I'm just gonna make a little mark so as we'll see it on either side, is where we're gonna make the peak. So we're going to be slanting it to the side, like this, from the three, from that mark there, and making a peak. And as you can see, you're just going to cut that off and then the same on this side down to that. And then this, I'm going to turn around so as you can see, I'm stuck a little bit. Get that back there. 
you'll see the peak and this I'm just going to fix it up a little there now so she won't be so uh, beaten up but you got your peak in this and this will match up to the other sides so now let's get making the other one I'm just gonna fix her up and then a little mark for a three on that side and then this is just kind of giving us our um, just so that we can see our peak so we're gonna go there down to where I marked and then over on this side down to where I marked so now how easy is that so this is what the side is going to look like or the front and the back is what I should say is gonna look like this and the side sides and the roof is going to look like that so now we're going to get this baking i'll tell you what that's going to be i love working with this dough it reminds me of play-doh and you actually want to make like just funny little snowmen and everything so getting back to the baking time now on a gingerbread house is I don't want to get carried away because this reminds me of when I'm with my grandkids and like I said we're getting ready for making our, our gingerbread house. In the oven 350 degrees for 12 minutes. It's got to be preheated so once mine gets to that time I'm going to put these in there and then we'll take them out and let them cool down just a little but the rest of this dough we're going to make gingerbread cookies and all different shapes so we'll get started on that and then I'm going to put that um, else in the oven okay so what we're going to do now while I'm waiting for my oven to get ready to put our uh, pieces to make our house um, in the oven I'm going to roll this out and we're going to make some gingerbread cookies and some different shapes I got trees there and I, I got snowmen and I might even get Raymond in to help me with this <laughs> also make sure when you're rolling out your dough give a little dusting of flour because that all blends in like that and is easier to move around so right now I'm going to start pulling out some of my cutouts so I got, these are nice gingerbread cutout, cook, cookie cutouts, I should say. And what one are you going to make it, right? I'm just look at this. About, Isn't that just beautiful? Can I make trees, this one, right? Yep, yep. Just get in there and cut out and what you want. And also what we're going to do after when we do this, we're going to give you a recipe for a beautiful um, icing that's going to bind all of this together and it's going to be so wonderful can not I only uh, snowman you sure can not only are you it's going to harden when it's on it's going to keep your gingerbread house together oh, yeah. so that's pretty much all you need to do there fantastic yeah right okay so now we still got raymond here helping us oh yeah now this one you're going to candy, do candy cane. cane okay okay so i know if you got a specific one that you like, I know for our grandkids is the gingerbread man. And then while we're doing this, we're playing the gingerbread man song or oh, the whatever. video. <laughs> that yeah. song goes. Yeah, you can't catch me on the gingerbread can't man. Can't catch me on the gingerbread man. So that's pretty much all we're doing here. So I guess okay. that's good, eh? I think that's perfect. Right on. Right yeah. on. So that's yeah. pretty all. That's pretty much all you need to do with that. And this part here, like you said, your grandkids can help you, your kids. And well, in my case, it's my husband, the cameraman. He uh, came he in and helped. Made good Christmas and he uh, he did wonderful. So what I'm going to do now is clean up this here while we're waiting for our gingerbread. Um, I guess the sides to our gingerbread house to do, and we're going to make the icing. So that's the last of uh, the gingerbread uh, dough, but I just shaped, I'm going to make a chimney for that, that house. And I'm going to slant it a little bit to the side because when I put it on the roof, you're going to need it a little slanted to fit onto that uh, roof top. And uh, I don't have it with my other one, but we'll do it with this one if you want to get fancy. So now 
we're going to start the icing while we're waiting for all that to bake. So I hope you're following along and you're still interested in making this delicious uh, batch of cookies and our gingerbread house. So what we'll do now is show you how to make this icing that is going to be your binding of everything. It's going to keep it uh, the, the mortar of your house and the cookies. It's absolutely delicious. So now let's get going on that. What we're going to be using here is five cups of confectionery sugar. So we'll pour that on in first. So this, this is more than enough to icing your, your cookies and to put your gingerbread house together. Then is going to be a half a teaspoonful of sea salt. We're going to be putting in one teaspoonful of almond extract and we're going to be putting in a half a teaspoonful of cream of tartar. Now this ingredient I'm putting in here is corn syrup and just one teaspoonful and this, this brings the shine out into this icing sugar and it helps it just keep that shine all, well until they're all gone. And of course the cream of tartar is going to help it stay together. And we're going to be using seven tablespoonfuls of cold water. So that's it. Now let's mix all that together. So pretty much all you're doing there is just mixing it all in until it's all incorporated. Like this. And this is what your icing is going to look like. See it's shiny and nice and, and it's just a perfect texture. So. What we're going to do now is scoop some into our cake decorator and that's how we're going to put our gingerbread house together. So this is coming along really nice and as you can see our gingerbread houses now are baked and we're just waiting for them to cool down a little bit more so that everything is going to bind together really good. I'm going to scoop some icing into two jars are two little dishes because you want two colored. I'm going to have a red one and a green one and this is going to be for the gingerbread cookies and you could use whatever color you want and if you don't want to use food coloring and you got some other way of coloring it that's fine as well and then I'm going to scoop some of the icing into this and this is the, the decorator we're going to be putting the sides up on our house and getting that done to show you what that looks like. So that's pretty much all you're doing there is just getting all that in in this little tube or in one of those annelled um, plastic decorators is fine this one is just a pinch one so that's fine now we're going to be putting some food coloring a little red in one have it as dark or as light as you want it and a green in the other i just figured this is christmas colors and if you were making these gingerbread cookies or you know even making it for a birthday party what a way for the kids to to celebrate a birthday and having a bake a baking birthday party that would be wicked so this is I might put a little bit red it almost looks uh, pink but that's okay for right now and the green so that's all I'm doing there with that okay so that's our cookies out so now what we're going to do is put all this together get the icing going and build our gingerbread house so what you're going to need now is a base. I just got this styrofoam, um, uh, I guess this piece of styrofoam is what I should be saying, and it almost looks like a part of an igloo. I'm not making an igloo, but this will be a nice little entrance area. The other one I just got it on my cutting board. And this is the base that it's going to be kept on until you're finished with making your gingerbread house, and then it'll be staying like that until after Christmas. So now, what I'll show you what we're going to do next. So this is the side and this is the back 
of your gingerbread house. So what we're going to do when we put it together, it's going. This is going to be on the inside of the house. So I'm going to put a little bit of the icing along there because now what we're going to do is use this as a glue to put this together. Okay, so I got my two sides there and my front. So there, got icing on both sides and then you're going to put them, stick them onto the icing like this. But do one at a time, so give it a couple of seconds there just for it to, to catch as they would say and I'm going to do it on this side. Now you may need something on the back of your house or on the front of your house, whichever way you want to call this. And I'm going to use my cup just to keep that up there because now I want to go for this side. And pretty much we're doing the same thing with the other piece just to stick it together. And give that a second there and I want to go over the side here and just put a little bit more on that side of the house. And the same on the other side. I can't see that side so Right now, I'll just focus on this side and I'm gonna come over on that side to show you that end. Okay, so pretty much the same as what I did on the other side. You're just gonna make a nice little thread of this icing and put it on down. And that's just giving it that little bit more of a seal. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put up the other side. So we're gonna stick it there. Now, if you find that it's gaps, so and what I mean by gaps, you see this little opening right there. So what you're going to do, you're going to fill this in with some icing. And that's basically, it's almost like you're, you're building a house outside and you're just mudding each area. So now what I'm going to do is get on that side and show you what that looks like. So now we're going to be going down the side of this one. How cool is that? Now this is fun for you and your kids to, to work together on this. And now what I'm going to do as well, we're going to put a bead of this icing along here because this is where we're going to be putting the roof on. And we're going to do the same outside. Now again, you're going to use lots of icing for this and you'll continue putting some on as you go. But this is just to get it started just to build your house first. So now we got the icing all the way around there, we're gonna put our roof on. So this is fun. You're building your own gingerbread house and you're making it fancy the way you want it. So now this one, you gotta hold down a little bit first just until it starts to stick. And then we're gonna put a little bit more to reinforce it and the same thing on the other side but let's just do this for now so after you've done that you're going to put a nice bead of the icing right along the bottom because we want to make sure this roof stays on and we're going to go right around the sides this is reinforcements and if you want to get fancy with this part at this point you can because it's your gingerbread house and you can do whatever you want at this point. I know Raymond is going to get excited oh, with these. I was thinking about putting shingles out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that part we'll leave it to you. We'll oh, let you. Yeah. We'll let you put the shingles on. Okay. So that's all you need to do there. So all I'm doing now is doing the same as we did the last time. And you can see the gingerbread house is still pretty sturdy. It mightn't be exactly square, and it mightn't be perfect, but it's as perfect is you want them to be because right now it is what it is right so we're going to put this roof on here now and let him stick there and the opening up top we're going to put candies there it's supposed to go together properly but one i guess i cut a little bit smaller than the other one but that's okay just let it seal on there nice so I'm just doing reinforcements here now. I'm just putting the icing right around and making sure it seals. That part, I'm gonna, like I said again, I'm gonna leave to you. 
So now the fancy part, we're going to be putting windows and doors in our gingerbread house. I was just gonna get Raymond to do the shingles on here, but for now, I got these little small candies and they are for the top. And then that kind of adds the look of any opening in your gingerbread house. Then that one is on there. So that's pretty much all you're going to do there. Now we're going to do the shingles. Now Raymond said he wants to do the shingles. So I pretty always, much. I, I always like doing shingles. Okay, so you do. <laughs> so what do I do? You're doing the shingles. So I just push on this. <laughs> yeah, just push on it nice, but don't lean against our gingerbread house because you don't want him to, because he's not sealed yet, and it's just partly. Like so. All right. So you're doing pretty good there, Raymond. Okay. All right. All, All right, I'll, I'll let you finish that one. All right, I'll continue on. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much all you need to do there is just get fancy with your and uh, make the shingles. And right here now, I put two doors in my house. So I'm going to go up, make a fancy little top and down. Don't wor worry about that. I'm working back onto myself. So that's it there. And that's all you need to do there with that. Make a little line across there. Okay, so Raymond is gonna finish the rest of the shingles and then we're gonna do some reinforcements. With so, our... this is pretty good like that. So just go across. Like so. And, and a few little. And then you're gonna make your shingles. Like so. At so. this point, you could put candies even there. We're going to put some of our gingerbread cutouts on there. We're gonna use a candy cane, okay. a star, and maybe a gingerbread man too to put by the by the house. But at this point, it's your own creation. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do at this point. Now see. Isn't that a fantastic job? I love it, Ray. <laughs> Pretty Tell creative. You. Yeah, I think I'll give up the camera business. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is make another window. I don't know if my arm is in the way, but I'll be quick about this and then you'll see what the window looks like. So pretty much is make a square and then the line across and up and down is an awkward angle. I'm gonna make a, a window on the side here now, and then I'm going to start decorating our cookies so we can put some cookies on there. So I'm gonna make a window right here on the side, a bigger window, maybe this one is overlooking a nice lake or yeah. beautiful forest or even an ocean. So that's pretty much there. And my trusty little chimney I was going to put a little bit of icing on there and we'll put it probably right here. It's going to let and harden there. And they're going to look something like that. Okay, Raymond insists that he, he wants <laughs> the chimney red. So I'm going to turn it towards oh, yes. me for a second, put a little tiny bit of red on there. But pretty much this is one of these projects that you make it whatever way you want it. So I just got a little bit of red dip. We'll put some oh, white yeah. with it and then we'll call it a day. So now what we'll do is decorate some of our cookies. All right. <laughs> so Raymond is kind of, he's saying we need to get this house built, but pretty much you know the story, okay? And what I got done here is a little bit of icing put onto um, a cookie and we're just going to stick it on so you can just fancy it up fancy up your house whatever way you want to we got one here of course that we did in advance and we made lots of fancy with it so we'll look at that one along with the one we just made 
icing a couple of cookies and how good is that? This is the Christmas spirit. I'm excited to, for you to guys to make it pretty much here. And you can do again the way you'd like to, to icing or make it. Spread on the icing and when it, see, when it sets, I should say, not seals, sealing is uh, for the house, it will look like this and it'll get nice and shiny and you can just touch it and the same thing with the house everything just seals nice and uh, you can eat this anytime you could start eating it while you're making it even but so this is pretty much all we're going to do there and then just decorate your cookies like this even put sprinkles that's Raymond's favorite and there they are our little gingerbread men the star you can put on top of your gingerbread house or the bell two different colors and again and a Christmas tree looks absolutely amazing and that's it as good as it gets and after you want for it to snow and Christmas that's pretty much when we want to see snow and just put it all over your gingerbread house and around the board and just look at that beautiful so this is it this is as good as it gets i hope that our gingerbread houses and our cookies is helpful for you and it's only just this little ball of dough and make it put it in the in the fridge overnight or for an hour or just roll it out right away it doesn't matter so if you enjoyed this recipe and uh, you would like to have it available, it'll be right there under our video as well. The subscribe button here on YouTube will be there if you want to see more videos as we make them. You can also visit us on our Facebook page, leave us a message there or on www.bonitaskitchen.com. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Thank you everyone for joining us here today on this episode of our gingerbread cookies and gingerbread house. And all the good work I've done on that you gingerbread. You did an amazing job I decorating know. and putting the shingles on. So, from our kitchen, kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us. And have a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mm -hmm.